channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the week ahead. Franklin is obviously going to be join it, joining us and we are definitely in a new location. My new location, I'm in the same apartment, but we're in my bedroom today because I personally don't feel like leaving my bedroom. I just, if I had my way, I would be in bed all day and I'm pretty sure this is because Sun is moving through the sign of Cancer. Mars and Mercury are moving through the sign of Cancer. So the energy and where we find our, our vibe, our tribe, our good feelings is coming from the home and the place that makes us feel most safe and secure. The things and the people that it is that we love most, our friends that feel like family, our places that feel like home, the food that feels like comfort, that's where we all are collectively. So for those of you guys who are brand new to the YouTube channel, welcome, I welcome you with big open arms. And um, thank you so much for tuning in because I know that you have options. Thank you so much for subscribing. Basically how I do these weekly forecasts, it's a combination of astrology, tarot, and a lot of intuition. And I like to break it down into chunks to help all of us as a collective whole know how to work with this energy and to not fall victim to it, for us to be strengthened, for us to be uplifted. I feel like there's no obstacles that will squash us if we know how to work with them if that makes any sense. So that being said, there is a overall energy that I'm seeing for this week that we'll discuss in this video. The timestamps will be down below. I break the week down into the first section of the week, which is Monday through Wednesday. The second section of the week is Wednesday through Friday, so there's an overlap. And then the last section, the third section of of this week is Friday through Sunday and then we'll go over our strengths and our weaknesses and what it is that I'm seeing and what it is that I'm feeling and again all the timestamps will be down below. So one thing that I want to say and that I want to dive into is the fact that Neptune, the planet that rules illusion, fantasy, um, spirituality, this higher connection, this unconditional love, artistic expression, artistic creativity, being able to receive messages and give messages is now retrograde and this started last week and basically there isn't one set thing that we can expect from Neptune being retrograde because it's hard to kind of pin Neptune down you really can't it's very ethereal it's very like in the ethers it's it's, it's um trying to bag fog like you just can't but you can be inspired by it and you can be influenced by it hopefully for good and not bad so the one way that Neptune retrograde can influence you for ill and for evil I don't want to say but just not in the best way is that even when it's retrograde just because the planet that rules deception and illusion is retrograde it can still create deception in your life it can still create chaos and things not being all that it is that they seem but the same thing can happen when Neptune is is direct and how we'll know how this impacts you is by checking your chart which is a very specific one-on-one -on -one, very detailed practice and routine that you, you would need to do with an astrologer or that you could do for yourself but as a collective I just have been feeling again and again this need to ground ourselves and need to center ourselves and I'm gonna keep saying this because if you are grounded and connected to your core you really cannot get derailed by external things because you are so connected to the divine you are so connected to yourself to your guides and angels that are working to protect you and help you that you won't get disillusioned by anyone or anything because your intuition is constantly talking to you and if you are developing that skill and developing that gift you can't be lost and you can't be led astray so the one way to do that is to continue to ground yourself and to center you using practices like meditation by journaling by getting your thoughts and your feelings out of your head out of your heart and onto paper by setting intention by letting go and releasing now last week and this week and into the weeks to come because we are entering into eclipse season so make sure that you are subscribed to the youtube channel because i've got videos coming where we're talking in depth on the eclipses and what you can expect and what that's going to feel like for you but i've been seeing a lot of ig um things getting ignited things getting blasted out of you know left and right and that's not a bad thing because for so many of you guys you've been calling in major change and transformation last week well, the weeks before that, the words that were coming through was like this baptism. And 
basically what I'm seeing and what I was seeing was people kind of cleansing themselves and releasing and detoxing and coming from the water coming from that pure because they were removing and cleansing themselves of these binds these things that have been holding them back internally emotionally mentally they're stepping into spaces of new communication new territory following their passion following their heart taking their relationships to deeper levels of intimacy and also taking their relationship with themselves to a deeper level of intimacy and understanding and it's been so beautiful to watch there's been a lot of emotion that's connected to that so there's a lot of purging and cleansing but also this new territory it's very exciting so some of you guys are actually traveling and going to new places and it's it's more than you just going out and seeing the world I'm seeing a connection to helping it's it's like our work that we've been doing as a collective is so much bigger than just individual selfish need somehow you following your passion and somehow you following your calling is helping others in some major way I'm seeing it with my family I'm seeing it with my friends I've been predicting it I've been talking about it I've been guiding you guys through it and I feel like you've been listening and because of that there's a huge cleansing that is happening globally there's a huge uh, transformation that's happening internally not just because of me and in my words because it's definitely Definitely not just me that's talking about this but as a collective as a whole and you guys are really starting to transcend from our normal mundane experiences to this next level now Neptune retrograde is going to help with that because I'm seeing artists like artistic people creative people the lovers the dreamers the visionaries the intuitives I'm seeing you guys step into your calling and sharing that and connecting and being fearless sorry about that guys my camera storage got filled but we cleansed it out really quickly but speaking of speaking of cleansing right moving forward I am seeing I was seeing this like baptism and then last week I was seeing this like baptism instead of it being by water but now it was by fire and I'm seeing this energy getting ignited and I'm seeing that in this week so as a whole I am feeling that so many of you guys are stepping into a space where the sacral chakra and the root chakra is being totally ignited. Now the heart chakra totally and the crown and the throat but there's a sacral and the root chakra and I think as I'm saying this now it makes sense that I'm wearing red because it really vibes with what I see and feel for this week ahead. I'm seeing optimism, I'm seeing aggression, I'm seeing leadership, I'm seeing that there's this massive wave that's coming in of okay you know what I have released now I'm starting to see it come to life um, this fear it used to make me scared the level of courageousness that I'm holding within me that comes from my sacral and comes from my root chakra that healing that you guys have been doing now it's like when you feel this fear which can come you know trigger the sacral chakra and um, tr trigger the root chakra your feelings of safety and security now instead of you becoming a victim to it you're almost inspired by it that's what it is that I'm seeing for you guys as a whole is that these old ways, this old mindset, this fear, the anxiousness, the self-doubt, the insecurity, that has been burned and released totally. And because of that, it's not saying that there aren't more obstacles that are going to be in the future because we're human and it's going to happen and people make mistakes and you know we can't expect a perfect life and a perfect self. In fact, you being imperfectly who you are is perfect as is and that is divine. It's not that we're saying that blockages won't come. It's that the blockage that was there in the past does not stop you and doesn't even slow you down in the same way it has in the past. In fact, you look at the blockage and you see this as a challenge because you are in a space where you have been building and creating security, stability for yourself. You believe in yourself. You have confidence now. You are a leader. You call the shots. And if you guys are still stepping into the space where you're learning that about yourself, I'm, I, I, I support that 6,000% because it's not about being per, um, perfect and knowing the answers. It's about seeing the fear, ex seeing your imperfections, seeing what it is that you need to change and still showing up every day and trying at least and being vulnerable, being authentic, being aggressive and assertive and dominant whether you're a female, whether you're male, or however you identify, that energy is still being ignited within you. And this courageousness, sometimes it's not so forward and in your face. Sometimes, again, like I said 
last week, sometimes it's very subtle. Sometimes it's making boundaries for yourself. Sometimes it's letting go and telling people how you feel. Sometimes it's you asking for help. Sometimes it's you speaking from your heart and talking about your, your emotions if you, have, if you struggled with that. But either way, something is dead. Something has died. Something has been released. And for that, the clouds are parting. The cleansing has happened. And now because of all of that, now things are transforming. The thing that I'm seeing is uh, like a link. I'm seeing two things linking together. I don't know what this is, but it's almost like one ring here and one ring here. And I don't know what that means. It almost kind of reminds me of an infinity, but I'm seeing it as an engagement. I'm seeing it as two people that are two things that have decided to come together. And it, take, it took a lot of courageousness to bring those two things together because they were so different, because the ops, the circumstances and the obstacles were so great and so big and it's surprising how much can happen especially as we're entering into eclipse season which will be happening next week and again make sure that you're subscribed to the youtube channel because i'll be diving into the eclipses in full full detail and they erupt major transformation in your life and my life and all of our lives so we want to be ready for that and that's a card that i'm seeing here is you will be surprised why because things are about to get really juicy things are really going to start getting picking up and for that reason you need to be courageous you need to be bold you need to be assertive you need to know what you want to not be afraid of that there's so many cards and so much of this energy around here um, and the planets are supporting your safety they're supporting your need for security and stability and to have something to fall back on and to feel like your voice is being heard that you are being loved that you are worthy and that you are valued and what you're creating is of value. There are so many things this week and that have been around you that are reminding you of your worth and your value and the planets are supporting that. So when you start seeing this change happening and this cleansing and this purging, it is 6,000% for the highest and greatest good and it's not something to freak you out. And again, I want you guys to remember this. When, you know, being courageous is not about not feeling fear. The fear is going to be there, of course. There are going to be moments where you get triggered and that is okay. But instead of becoming a victim to it and going into this repeating patterns, you have learned to do things differently and for that, you will receive a different outcome that will surprise you and that will help you to link up and to create these bonds. It's almost like, I think it's like Adam when they create these bonds and they fuse together they're so tiny but something about them creates something so structured and so secure that it's just the, the building blocks of everything that is that we know and that's what I'm seeing for you guys it's very much a commitment it's very much a bond here that is being created I think the last time I'm gonna say this is that this old anxiousness this old anxiety this old tension this feeling inside of like self-worth self-value I'm not loved I'm not needed I'm not valued I can't create, I can't do this. Those thoughts, those words, are you even speaking them anymore? I don't see you speaking them. You might have the thought, but your strength right now, your optimism, your courageousness, your perseverance is so much stronger than those troublesome thoughts because you're seeing that it's just a repeating pattern and they're also temporary. So I want you guys to remember that as you're going into this week ahead because there's a lot of a lot of change. I mean, there's so much transformation, transformation, transformation within these cards, okay? So now let's go ahead and talk talk about the first check chunk of this week which is Monday through Wednesday okay so the first chunk of this week Monday through Friday is really interesting and hear me hear me out on this I do not see the seven of swords here but it this energy kind of reminds me of seven of swords but in the way that the seven of swords is very positive and I'll explain that in a second the tarot cards that I have for this first chunk of this week is the chariot and the two of swords but why I'm feeling the Seven of Swords is it's almost like you falling into the background a little bit. And by all means, take this how, how this resonates because some of you guys are being ignited. But I almost feel like you falling in the back and you maybe not saying everything and you not speaking everything and you not sharing your ideas is somehow going to help you to understand and to discover. I don't know what that means. In fact, it's Monday as I'm filming this. Maybe it's, again, Neptune retrograde that's going to help bring things to the surface we're also preparing for the eclipses so the energy of that solar eclipse in cancer with and also with mercury and mars and the sun moving through cancer right now it has this way of kind of bringing things up to the surface for some reason i'm seeing this pullback and instead of you like actively like seeking and digging and trying and pursuing it's almost like you pulling back helps you to see things and hear things 
as if almost as if being invisible is a blessing that's why i'm seeing seven of swords this vibe of seven of swords because the seven of swords doesn't show all of it all of its cards it keeps some things hidden because there's a cunningness to it there's an a, a plan behind it that is there for protection or there for a reason so instead of you guys um actively like digging and finding and trying to push and pull stay in a positive mind and fall back and watch what kind of happen <laughs> watch what kind of happens the other thing that i'm seeing is writing or creating or expressing it's not that it's not happening it's just i see it like almost observant and then collecting information collecting ideas doing research having conversations and doing more listening than talking and hearing what people say and receiving information so that you can take it and do with it what you will so i don't know maybe it's for some of you guys you're feeling like a creative blockage so you're going out and you're finding things that inspire you and for the, for monday through wednesday you're you maybe you're traveling maybe you're going somewhere or doing something and this blockage that is that you're experiencing that's you know stopping you from you know pulling like pouring out and feeling creative and feeling like empress energy just kind of you know comes from you effortlessly it feels like there's a blockage there which isn't necessarily a bad thing i see this as you you know allowing yourself to receive my best friend and i were just talking about this last night which is i receive healing i receive information i receive education i receive the blessing i receive love i receive healing i receive help so instead of you doing 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 it's almost like you being in the space of invisibility helps there to be this movement um and transition that is more effortless than you kind of digging and pushing and trying to you know i don't know like say the right words or feel the right thing or create the perfect masterpiece i just see this as i'm gonna pull back i'm not gonna demand so much of myself and of others and for that i'm going to receive information and receive the create the creative creative inspiration that i need to help me to move forward and once i receive the receive that information then things start moving forward but it's very calculated it's very like okay this is why i'm doing this it's not ill intention behind it intention is always positive but you want to make sure that you're being restored and being filled with life and that your life and light and you're receiving in order for transformation to happen because there's something here that needs to be discovered i don't see this as being sneaky in any way or conniving because there's a lot of supportive energy around here but it's almost like the cards and energy is saying for monday through wednesday to maybe not put all your cards on the table to fall back for a little bit to receive praise to receive information and communication to be a little bit invisible and it'll be interesting to see how that manifests uh the 20 24th is today right yeah which is a monday i'm filming this on a monday and venus ruling money finances value the things that we value love beauty is squaring off with neptune neptune is now retrograde venus is also sitting directly opposite of jupiter so i all of this is showing me that things are presenting themselves to you and things will come up if you sit back and you listen <laughs> if you're not pushing if you're not forcing people will say people will you'll hear you'll know and it will help you to know the right the next steps because there's so much i don't want to say word vomit but there's a lot of um you know extravagance that's going to happen so you want to watch it and see what happens and how it pops off and then take that information and do with it what you will and that's going to cover monday through wednesday so you guys keep me posted with that i'm also seeing for some reason your finances and your money and your career how you spend your money the things that it is that you value and that you put investment in wait wait you know no major purchases right now i just feel that i just feel that i feel like you it could be totally overindulgent and you might regret it or you might go out like it's almost like this a space of like overindulgence eating too much drinking too much so probably stay invisible like you know when someone drinks too much it happens you know what i mean you go to the office party you're celebrating someone's birthday you have a drink or two or three or four <laughs> and then you say something and you regret it I, that's never happened to me that's usually happens to me when i'm sober i'm not really much of a drinker but you know it's like damn like i i would have been it would have been better if i didn't say anything and if i kind of fell back and i did more listening than talking so that's what i'm seeing and who knows how this will or how this will influence and how it will present itself and also venus square neptune is something too where it's like can i trust this right now like i'm not entirely sure so let me just kind of sit here 
and pull back and listen do more listening and receiving than me pouring it out because and and having expectation because so it's almost like you know trying to bag fog like you just can't do it all right let's move on to the second half of this week which is wednesday through friday okay for the second half of this week i'm feeling and sensing the word selfishness self-indulgence and this sometimes when we see hear the word selfish and sometimes when we hear the word self-indulgent we're like oh you know i shouldn't be doing this or this is bad i should be thinking more about others but again there's a space of kind of like receiving and being a leader and being ignited in a way that is for a purpose but it gives your purpose is connected to your desire you know what i mean so like if you love something and if you love someone you giving love to that fills you because you love it so you loving it makes you feel good so it, to give to that fills you up make sure <laughs> to maintain balance that what it is that you're giving is somehow giving back to you that way it's this balance that is happening and it's effortless have um an expectation of positive like have this mindset of positivity this when i give to this and when i give the beauty of myself it will be received because i'm seeing that that's where balance is getting restored here i'm i feel like there's this sense of like being guarded and <clears throat> people can sense that if you're holding back the best of yourself or if you're giving the best of yourself to someone who doesn't deserve it there is an imbalance and people sense that and they feel guilty and they will you know feel guilty in the way that they will continue to receive from it a lot and then lie or hide or do things under the radar and you will sense that and it's like this vicious cycle so what I am seeing is don't doubt yourself when it comes to your intuition don't doubt yourself when it comes to expressing the th expressing and giving yourself to things that is that you love but make sure that when you are giving your love and when you are pouring it into someone make sure that it's equally coming back to you and it's not to say that it's okay, I'm gonna give this to you and I know I'm gonna receive, but make sure that when you give it, it's not toxic to you. And I know that that sounds really kind of um, counterintuitive because if you love, shouldn't you, you know, shouldn't it be like, shouldn't it be like effortless? Like, shouldn't you give love? But in a, for the reality is, is that people are, are, they're interpreting the word love, connecting it to obligation and expectation. I love you and I like you and I want you. So for that reason, I need you to want me and love me back. And if you don't, I hate you. I hate myself. I don't like this. It makes you it like makes you spiral. The reality is is that when you are in a space of balance and you are grounded and you are loving the things unconditionally, when you give your love to it, it doesn't deplete from you because it is a space of pure love. So this could be a person, this could be your job, this could be travel, this could be a thing, a project, whatever. But make sure that when you're giving this love, that it is not coming from a space of doubt and lack and expect, expecting more, that it is just pouring from you effortlessly and that you giving that to whatever this thing is, is filling you and fueling you because if it's not, the balance is off and you are depleting yourself. And you have to ask yourself honestly, you know, me giving this, when I give my energy to this, am I giving it because I want to or do I expect something in return? And if I don't get it, how is it going to make me feel? So that's what I'm seeing for Wednesday and Friday. It's getting into a space where you don't really, you giving and you receiving back in return is not you needing anything it's just your nature let what you do be from a space of you know um, positivity and love and light and be lifted up to a higher vibration then this lower vibration this lower sacral root chakra needs to be healed type of thing because if that's the case then you need to receive what it is that you're trying so much to give that's a lot to take in, but is that is what it is that I'm seeing. That's what I'm feeling. I'm also seeing, again, the word forgiveness. It keeps coming through. And this is releasing and letting go and relinquishing this baggage. And it's forgiving what has happened, forgiving the things that have occurred in a way that helped your future to not have the same weight and burden that you had in the past. 
and releasing that burden lightens the load so that your future is something that you can look at with positive expectancy and with eyes that see beauty for the future, with eyes that are optimistic so that you can create and have a fertile future versus something that feels stagnant and toxic and draining. So that's what I'm seeing. And when you enter into that space, and if you need more time for yourself, because there's a space of home and hearth and comfort and family and security and stability, and also healing and light and inspiration and being guided by the stars. You, when you enter into that space of, you know, I am nurtured, I am whole as is, I need nothing. Not that you don't need anyone, but it's like you are whole as is. So when you give, it just, flows from you, it's easy, it's effortless. Talking to a stranger feels good, not get making you anxious. So when that guard gets let down, I'm seeing movement, I'm seeing magic, I'm seeing you know, your energy being lifted, I'm seeing your vibration being lifted, I'm seeing confirmation and clarity that, okay, this is who I am, this is my purpose, this is my destiny, this is for me. I'm not forcing it, it is for me, and there is abundance, there is richness, This it, there is strength, there is strength that comes through. There is inspiration. There is um, you stepping into the space of this is who I am. It almost feels like you're famous or something, but not in the way that it's like, oh, the people need me and I need them, but I am celebrated for who I am. And that acts as confirmation that I've been probably looking for for a long time. So that's what I'm seeing for Wednesday through Thursday. Again, those messages are pretty deep, but that's what I'm seeing and I'm feeling. Let's move on to the final portion of this week, and then we'll move into supporting and opposing energies. So the final portion of this week is Friday through Sunday. All right, so the final portion of this week that I am seeing is for Friday through Sunday. The word is, I don't say adventure, but if there's another word for adventure, it's like voyage. Where are we going? <laughs> what is happening here? This is preservation. This is, I am inspired. Holy crap. Where are we going? Where, this is the next level. This is the journey. We are embarking. That makes a lot of sense now that I'm saying this because I actually have friends who are coming in and coming to visit me here in New Orleans and they are going on a road trip. So it's very almost like road trip. Like, you know, you don't know what is ahead of you, but you're hoping that it's going to be fun. You expect that it's going to be fun, but it could be anything. Anything could happen, and it's all about the journey. It's all about the experience and being light and playful and having fun. There's this word that just came through that says, you are just getting started. Like, okay, we are just getting started. This is new energy. This is light. This is life. This is, I am filled with optimism. I, you know, ch challenge me, challenge me, tell me, you know, don't test me, but challenge me because I can actually prove myself. I want to prove myself. I am blossoming. This is, um, you know, we don't need anything. We have everything that it is that we need. So we can do anything with this. And that's the energy that it is that I'm seeing. There is a lot of love here. This dragonfly energy, this joy and love, and then the flamingo romance and love. The beauty of that is so freeing. Friday through Sunday, just take off. Maybe I'm gonna take off. That's what I'm gonna I'm gonna do. Friday through Sunday, I'm not gonna do anything. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm calling that in right now so that I can enjoy this energy too because I'm seeing that in the cards and now that I'm saying it, it's also on my planner. But yeah, it makes sense too because Mercury is entering into the sign of Leo. Leo rules um, the energy of playfulness and creativity and going out and being expressive and being expansive and being like, this is who I am. I am feeling vibrant, I am blossoming, I am creative, I am innovative. Everything I do, what I love is never in vain. This is all for, for me, this is for, I wanna share it, I have enough to share. I'm feeling good, this is my work, this is what's up. I'm self-sufficient, we're traveling, I release the burden. Having this heaviness is only gonna weigh me down. I'm going to lift myself up through meditation, through creativity, through play, through blossoming, through whatever, and I am going to go on this voyage. I'm gonna go on this adventure. I'm going to live my life to the fullest. That's what I'm seeing Friday through Sunday, and I love it. I'm living for that. There's a lot of surprise here too, covering um, Friday and Sunday with Sun, Trine, um, Uranus. This is the planet 
sun is our ego and our energy and by ego a lot of you guys like to come come for me and try to try to drag me on the internet but you guys know I come from a space of love and light so you can't drag something that you can't catch and you can't touch you know what I mean we if you're staying in a space of light and you're trying to touch darkness you can't because the light overshines the darkness always and forever and you can't try to capture a rainbow because it's not there for you to touch it's something so beyond and that's the energy that I bring and that's the energy that a lot of you guys bring so we can't get you know um, dismayed we can't get destroyed we can't be captured you can't capture something you can't touch so that's what it is that I'm seeing and when I say ego it's the energy the vibe the essence our our awareness of ourselves what that looks like is in a space of nurturing security support it's so supported it's so safe it's so protected sitting moving through the sign of cancer this is something we've been working on a lot because the north node has been moving through the sign of cancer for a long time and the north node is our north star it's what we're striving for it's what the universe is pulling us to be and to to experience and to feel and Uranus, the planet of disruption and surprise and, you know, innovating and shaking things up is sextile the sun. So basically what we're seeing is expressing yourself and being, you know, of this, this love, love and light and, you know, shining and sharing and enjoying and pleasure, the pleasures of the senses and feeling the sun on your skin and being like, damn, I'm a goddess. Wow. You see this tan? Do you see this tan? This is from the sun, this is from the light, this is from the love that I've been experiencing and feeling. And this tan benefits you, it benefits everyone else. If you see me shining, then you want to shine. I see you shining and it makes me want to shine. And the two of us together, we're just over here shining, shining, shining. Like <laughs> That's what it is that I'm getting what, Friday through Sunday. So there's a lot of good energy here. The only thing that I will say is the ego. The negative side of the ego which is you know you don't want to be too confident or overconfident and um, where you're kind of offensive to other people that's the only thing so it's like the words that you say you can offend somebody so it's again we there's energy this week of listening and you know transformation and being a leader and moving from a space of love in the heart the Sun actually connects to the heart and the heart is the center of the entire body and if you're moving from the heart, if you're listening to your heart, if you're feeling your heart, does your heart feel lifted or heavy? If it's lifted, share. If it's heavy, lift. You know what I mean? Give, receive. When I say give, I mean give to yourself and receive from others so that the heart can be lifted. Be in, Get inspired. So if you're moving from your heart, if you're moving from a space of love and connected to the divine, you have nothing to worry about. But you just want to make sure that you are respectful because that's the other thing too about the sun is that sometimes it can be a little boastful and disrespectful in its negative attributes because it, it can shine so much that it um, burns people. But that's the negative side of it. That's when it's off balance. But that's not going to be you and that's not going to be me. Hopefully not. We're not going to put that out there. All right, now let's look at our the things that are working against us and the things that are working for us. What is working for us is remembering that you can't change anyone. That is beautiful if you sit with it. What is working for you is that you can't change anyone and no one can change you. That means that when I look at myself, when I retreat and I look at myself in the mirror, who I am is enough. The mistakes that it is that I've made have been lessons and actually have helped me to know what intentions I'm going to make for myself and for my future. That is the beauty of my mistakes. My mistakes give me permission to not be perfect. For that, if my intent is good and if my intent is from love, then the energy that I put out, I will always receive. It will always be beautiful. Beauty. Beauty. I want to focus on the word beauty because just like the rose and the thorns, the, the every rose has its thorns, which means that every one of us has the beautiful sides of us and then we also have the sides that we have to protect ourselves, um, the impulses, the habits that can hurt ourselves and sometimes hurt others. And again, that's a part of them, not mistakes, but there are going to be mistakes that is that we make. And that comes from a space of, I need to have boundaries. I need to protect myself. And I also have fears and anxieties and things that are really real about me that make me strong in ways that are good and bad. And I am learning to embrace both sides of that and when I look at myself in the mirror and when I examine myself I'm going to see my reflection I'm gonna see it without judging it 
and I'm also not going to judge others because if I would want to be loved unconditionally and if I would want to have someone look at the beautiful side of me, the rose petal of me, and then also look at the thorn and hold it and appreciate it and value it and let it be as is, then I'm going to give that to others. That is what we are working with. That is so beautiful today. This is not just you examining yourself and others, but it's you examining everything around you, that there is beauty in it and there's also the thorn in it. There is the potential to make the mistakes, but more than that is the potential to learn from the mistake, to learn from what has been set into place in order to protect us or to protect that thing. Boundaries, I saw this recently, boundaries are not there to wall people out or to wall things out and isolate you. Boundaries should be set in place to show you how to love me. Boundaries are set in place to show you how to approach me and where the door is to have access to me and for me to have access to you and that we can develop a healthy relationship, a vibrant relationship. For some of you guys, I do see this need to kind of retreat and to fall back and we saw that at the beginning of this week and that's not necessarily a bad thing by you falling back and you shining a light and you choosing who you want to share that with it's going to help you to unlock doors it's going to help you to harvest it's going to help you to retreat and to see the strength of who you are the beauty of who it is that you are and the good that comes with that the baggage that comes with that and that's not necessarily a bad thing that's actually a good thing and um, the right people are going to pick that up and invest in it regardless. And I want you to be able to see that within yourself and to invest in yourself regardless. And to not look at, you know, your reflection in the mirror and see only, okay, this is what I've done ill or this is what I've done bad or, you know, this is who I am. I am angry. I am independent. I am this. Like, come at me, bro. Like, that is not all of who you are. That is just a defense mechanism. That's, that is not even actually who you are, that's the guard around you. That is how you are coming across right now, but that is not who you are. Because to, who you are to your core is someone that is unconditionally loving. It's someone who deserves unconditional loving. It's, it's someone who is creative, who is expansive, who is expressive, who is strong, who is vibrant. Don't look at your strength and see it as, you know, no one can get to me. What do you mean no one can get to you? There should be people who can get to you. You, sh you should have people in your corner vouching for, like, um, supporting you and vouching for you and fighting for you because you're worthy of that. And that's what it is that I'm seeing. That's what's working for you is this balance of the energy that you have given. It's almost like the universe is saying, we see all that you have done and we see the mistakes and we're not judging you for it because we see why you did it. But you know, we want to give to you. Make sure that you are open to receiving. Make sure that your energy is in a space where you're able to give. Vibration, the energy, the intent. Your intent is for good and for positive so that when we give you the blessing that you are not going to destroy it, push it out and say, oh, it's because I'm strong. They expect vulnerability. They expect you to try and they expect you to strive. So that's what I'm seeing that's working for us is that for some of you guys, you, you're needing to kind of retreat and to be non-judgmental of yourself. You're needing to kind of reflect and to see yourself, the reflection of yourself in the mirror and learn to love it. And you're seeing the potential to love it. And that somehow unlocks the door for you of your heart, of opportunity, of creativity, of blessing, of abundance. The challenge, my goodness, we keep getting the word forgive. I keep getting the word, I keep seeing it. Sometimes it's this, you know, I feel like, not me, but I'm just saying, what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling is, for some reason I feel like I'm not enough. For some reason I feel like I have nowhere to go, nothing to get, and there's, 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 who's going to invest in me? Who's going to give to me? Am I enough? It feels unrequited. It feels like the energy that I've been putting out. Like, am I receiving it? Maybe I've been too generous. Maybe I've been giving to someone who doesn't value it. And the more that I keep giving to it, the more things shatter around me. The more I shatter. Because I feel like if I give to you and you don't value it, but I keep giving that to you, I'm hoping that one day you will see the value in that and that you will choose me and that you will love me. And I'm giving this to you, but I'm also giving this with an expectation, an expectancy that she, when you receive it and you give it back to me, that's going to be a reflection of my worth. Because if I see that you value me and if I see that you see the worth in me, if it almost confirms that I'm worthy of 
value and I, I can see my worth. But the reality is, is that if you are being generous and pouring yourself into something that doesn't wish to receive from you and is not open to receiving from you, you are depleting yourself and you're putting yourself in a space where you are not seeing your own self-worth and your own self-value and it takes from you, it takes from you. And again, when you give love and when you give your creativity, when you give your ideas, when you give your thoughts, your this, into something that you want to love, that you want to unconditionally love, and it is unrequited, it, it will deplete from you. So don't look for validation and don't look for others to say, okay, I'm going to take this from you because I see this, see your worth and our, your value, now I'm going to now invest in you. If you don't receive that, from them that is not a reflection of your self-worth and your value it's just they're not for whatever reason they're not there in a position to receive and that's usually there for your own protection and theirs so instead of seeing that what I'm seeing is negative is that I what's working against us is I'm seeing you know wanting to give a give to yourself to something that might be re unrequited that doesn't want to receive from you and then this I'm not enough and it's almost like this complaining what the this complaining thoughts of like damn like why it's like well no focus on the blessing focus on where the voyage is taking you right now because that is going to be something of love something of longing something that is successful something that is happy something that is precious something that is protected make sure that who you are investing in is going to actively give to you and give back to you or that when you are giving that it feels good to you and it somehow gives back to you if not if you keep investing in things that don't want to receive you are pouring your investment your value your energy your attention down the drain and how is that going to make you feel it just puts you in this lack this less than this question again back to the strength which I was just talking about this looking at yourself in the mirror and look and examining yourself when you see the reflection of yourself um, realize that you are enough realize that you have something of value but make sure that you are giving it to the right thing the right people the right circumstances <laughs> and that it is building and that it is giving back to you in the same way that you have given to it all right so that's what it is that I'm seeing there's a lot of love this week and that's beautiful and I am here for it, and I receive it, and I hope that you receive it. Make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube video, or YouTube channel, because there's plenty more videos where that came from. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram, hashtag Bahati Life, or at Bahati Life. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.